Hey guys, what's up? So the other day, uh, you know, it's summertime now, but during the winter time, I went off-roading, and not really off-roading, but I went to the uh, up to the snowy mountains. And um, funny is, I got stuck in some snow, and uh, I went to go activate my uh, auto lock, my four-wheel drive auto lock, and uh, like the vacuum actuated auto lock, like inside the cab, and it wouldn't go into four-wheel drive. So, I mean, good thing there was a manual locks on those uh tires so i went out there and put in a manual and uh, they will get out of the this the ditch i was in but so the issue is i for or i realized that my auto locks don't work so uh and you don't really know that until you actually need them you know it's like i mean i never would have known i wasn't a full drive so um you know if i did just turn those on because i had gone off-roading probably a, a few months before then i had an auto lock so maybe i wasn't even in four-wheel drive, I don't know. But, um, I just want to show you a couple of procedures on how to check this. But here on this, this is a Power Stroke uh, 6 liter 2006. And this is the actual vacuum pump right here. It's down on the, uh, this side of the compartment, uh, on the passenger side compartment. And there's some vacuum hoses going from that. And I have my little uh, hand uh, vacuum pump here, which actually creates a vacuum. I'm looking for a leak and I, I think it's somewhere here so I'm gonna get this on there sorry my kids with me and we're just gonna follow this around until I figure out what side this thing's leaking from or where it's leaking from it's pretty common to leak near the hubs so I'm gonna generate this and I'm not getting any sort of vacuum here stable vacuum hey, dude. so I know it's a leak somewhere down below so I'm gonna Put this back together and start going down and troubleshooting the leak. So. All right, guys, so I'm back underneath the truck. I have my kid. He wants to help me out here. Okay, make sure you don't get dirty, buddy. Okay, so this line. Hey, hey, relax. Yeah, he likes to get under the car with me. <laughs> See what I'm doing, huh, buddy? Okay, we're gonna. What are we gonna do? We're gonna. We're gonna fix the, the fix the vacuum lines. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's see here. My hands are all dirty. Yeah, we don't want that. I gotta separate it here. All right, then I'll hook my vacuum pump up there, uh, and I'll, I'm gonna check the hub. Oh, wow, some of these hoses are kind of cracked, pretty old looking. So I'm gonna hook it to both sides and see what's see what's up here. So I'm gonna first check the hubs, you know, the locking hubs down here. Make sure those aren't breaking. So let me get this hooked up. And I'll Okay guys, I'm gonna give this thing some vacuum. And I'm not getting any vacuum here. So Are you ready, that must either be a Are you ready bad, Daddy? Yeah, hold on one second, buddy. The hose doesn't feel like it's I mean I would have heard some sort of leak, but I'll say that hub is not looking good. Um Okay, so let me go back and uh, try the other one, but that's, this is not holding vacuum. As I pump it, it should be actually, this, that needle should be going up. So. Alright guys, now I'm back at the passenger side hub. Creating a vacuum on there. And nothing. So I think both sides of this thing are leaking. And they, and they leak from right in there, the, the seals. Which is a total bitch pain in the ass to get to. So, um... My mind. I get my mind. Okay, so yeah, I know this vacuum pump is working because I watch this. If I put, I mean, I had a little vacuum. I mean, it held. Get out of my so mind. Vacuum. Because let me show. Uh, get out of my mind. Huh. So I'm holding get my finger my right mind. here. So I know this is but, working. Uh, Daddy, get out my mind. Okay, you I mean get off your head? I mean. I get out of your mind. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put that back in the hose. Okay. Yeah, I'm pumping this thing up, not getting any vacuum know. on this thing. I don't know. I mean, a little bit, I got Daddy. Daddy. Five PSI? Daddy. And see how it's not well, staying there. Daddy. I don't know. What? We have a big 
this. But yeah, but we're trying to fix it. So it's holding about five psi. So I guess that's a good sign that it's steady. Okay. So that's steady. That's a good sign that it's steady. That's actually what we want, I think. I do. Well, yeah, yeah, this isn't what I do for a living. I'm just messing around trying to figure out my fix my truck here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, because you'd want this to be um, steady. Oh, daddy. We have to fix this. Yeah, we're trying to fix it. Okay. That's a good sign. I mean, it's steady. All right, so let me uh, go back and check that one again to compare. All right. All right, guys, I'm back at the driver's side. And maybe I didn't have the... Uh... Uh, 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 okay, so it is holding uh, holding steady yeah. pressure, so... Um, and that's actually what you'd be looking for. I mean, you don't want... I mean, if there's a leak, this thing will be going down. So, I guess i got to start troubleshooting this line that goes up. And then also, I'm going to check the pump, too, to make sure the... Uh, make sure I'm getting vacuumed down here. So, um, all right, cool. Let me check it out. Okay, so now I have a vacuum pump. Oh, uh, not vacuum pump. My vacuum gauge. Where's Mama? She's coming back. Okay, so then it's going right into my uh, this outlet pressure here that goes into the uh, this pump, and then what this does is it goes looks like this is the it's a black wire, black, and it goes right into this pump right here. So if I don't get vacuum, that's either this wire or the pump, so or the solenoid because it is drawing the red wire, which is in coming into here is some of their thing here it looks like it some other kind of vacuum operated thing here okay so I'm gonna fire this truck up and see if I get some uh, pressure on this thing all right cool all right my truck now with it running and I'm gonna actuate this little uh, 4x4 lever and I should be getting vacuum out of that thing so Double check and see what's up. Four by four. Okay, I put it in the gear just to make sure it's actuated. So we're in four by four mode now. You can see right there. And this is, that thing should be drawn vacuum, the vacuum gauge. Everything's going as planned. No vacuum. Huh. Try it one more time. I can see my gauge. From, I'm going to position my gauge where I can see it from the car. Now, I don't know if you can see that, I do actually have the vacuum gauge where I can see it. And I have my clicker here, so I'm going to click it back and forth and see if I see something here. Okay, now I'm back into two wheel drive. And we're going to pop. And we're going to go back into four wheel drive. If you can see that. Oh, watch out, baby. Ew. So we'll put it here just to make sure. Nothing. I'm in, I'm in full drive no, now. Was. So nothing's happened with Anybody that vacuum. Anybody had a pump? No, they didn't okay. Alright, so it must be the vacuum source. That might mean full of vacuum to even actuate the hubs. So back in a two-wheel drive mode. I have to find the source. I'm guessing it's the solenoid or the source of that vacuum. Alright. Okay, so the next thing uh, to isolate here 
And I'm just actually looking at this and just figuring it out as I go. Uh, okay, so this is a diesel truck, so um, I guess if, if you had a gas car, it would probably be pulling a manifold vacuum from uh, the intake. But because this is a diesel, these things don't really generate any sort of vacuum. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is the vacuum pump. And this is like a vacuum storage container next to it. So this thing would be actually dry, or creating a, a vacuum here. And from there, it looks like it splits off. If you look at this red wire, this, th this actually provides the vacuum to this tank. And then this solenoid draws vacuum from this tank. So one side splits off, it looks like it goes into the AC right here, this black wire. And the other red side goes into the actual solenoid here. So I'm going to pop that off and see what... Figure out what's up. So I'm going to pop that off and get it uh, get it going here. And then I'm going to put my, my uh, intake, uh, my... Uh, sorry, my vacuum gauge. I'm going to plug it into the actual manifold, the vacuum source. I, I don't know if you can hear me, but this is the source vacuum right here, which is coming from this tank and this pump. So I'm drawing about 11, so I know the source vacuum is okay. Okay, so end is off and it's still holding vacuum. So this is the actual source vacuum, which is being generated from this vacuum pump here in the storage container here. So that means I don't have any leaks going from all the way here to the AC system. That's fine. So it seems to me that I'm not getting, this thing is not actuating. So it's either the switch or this thing right here. But I think it's pretty common for this thing to go bad. So, um, okay. I don't think I'm going to leave. I guess I can. All right, so I'm going to have the bypass that hose make sure that's not the problem so you can hear it obviously it's coming off all right so what if this is vacuum hose big enough to get on that i'm hooking this thing up directly to this device right there and I'm going to put that back on the vacuum gauge, put that up where I can see it, hopefully, actually, and I'll know um, when I go back and fire it again and, and put it in a full drive, it should, uh, there should be pressure here, but if it's not getting pressure, that means it's not getting past a solenoid, so this is the, the spot, this is the failure part, I'm assuming, that would make sense, because vacuum doesn't get past this thing, this thing is not actuating. Okay guys, back here, and so this is the part that I believe that failed. Um, they have different prices, looks like anywhere from 29 to like, I don't know, like 64 bucks. But here's the one on Amazon. I mean, this one's 64 bucks, I'm not going to get that expensive one because, like, I never, I mean, it's, I guess it's always nice to get the genuine Ford stuff, but, like, I don't know if I want to spend double the price to get it, so... Um, so I'm just going to keep on looking around, but this is the device here, and what happened is the the source vacuum was fine. So I knew that, I know this device was getting vacuum, but this thing actually wasn't allowing vacuum to pass through. So when the switch was actu actuated, this thing should normally get power and energize and open up and allow vacuum to pass to get to those locking hubs. But for some reason, vacuum wasn't passing through this solenoid. So, um, I guess I could always try to take it apart and see if I could figure it out. Like if it's frozen or locked up or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm guessing there's some sort of like solenoid order switch in here that is obviously electri electrically ac actuated, which allows vacuum to get passed through. So, um, it's kind of cool because you do actually have this removable uh, top cover here. So, I might take that off and troubleshoot and see if I can figure it out, but... If I don't come back f uh, for this video, I'm going to come back and I'll, uh, I'm going to order a new part here and put it on and test it and see if I can get it to work. So, all right. Yeah, I'll probably end up replacing the rubber hoses down there anyways. 
uh, just because a few of them are kind of cracked and old. So, but uh, I mean that's pretty cheap. So that's just I'll be doing that while I do it. So, all right, cool. So that's the end of this video. All right, thanks.